Battlefield 5's June update is drawing closer now, and the content that will be included is starting to be pulled into sharper focus. A recent data mine discovering many weapons that were previously in development now appear much closer to a finished state, with a couple of gadgets popping back up as well at the same time. We know that the update is set to include a new map called Libya, and since that announcement, many players backed up again by data mined information from several months ago, they believed that the map would be small scale, infantry focused, with it previously being part of the map pool for the cancelled 5v5 mode. However, that isn't the case, and this is good news here. DICE recently confirmed that the Libya map will support 64 players. This is a fully fledged Battlefield 5 map, and we're going to talk more about it today in this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're not already to stay up to date on all the Battlefield franchise news and information moving forwards as we learn more about Battlefield 5's last update and of course Battlefield 6 moving into next year. Okay then, let's get down to business. First of all, this confirmation of the Libya map being a 64 player one. This came earlier this week via Global Community Manager Adam Freeman who simply replied, yup, to a question on Reddit about whether this map would support 64 players. And when he confirmed that it was indeed a 64 player map, a lot of other people in the Reddit thread then expressed surprise that that was the case. And I must admit that I was also fairly surprised when that announcement was made. I felt that this map would just be another small scale, small game mode map similar to Lofoten Islands and Provence, both of which were also 5v5 maps previously and then adapted and delivered in summer 2019 as part of Chapter 4, Defying the Odds. Libya was also part of that competitive mode, so I thought it would be another small-scale map. With it now being confirmed to support 64 players, but still fitting the description of the Libya map that was due to be part of that 5v5 mode, we can make the assumption that the map has indeed been adapted, as apparently were Lofoten Islands and Provence, but in this case, unlike the other two, the map has been expanded to make gameplay flow in a way that 64 players would actually make some sort of coherent sense. It implies that the map will support Conquest at the very least, and I think that's because it's the main game mode that Battlefield 5 supports, and then possibly the breakthrough game mode, which is also a 64 player game mode. But of course, at the moment, Conquest and Breakthrough being supported, that's not been confirmed. It's just been confirmed as a 64 player map. Now, if it was going to support Breakthrough, and I really hope that it does, the map would need to have some sort of progressive layout where sectors could be designed by the level designers or the game mode designers so that the mode could be properly supported. And that would mean a little bit more work than just Conquest, which supports the entire play area at once. But I, for one, would be very happy if this map did support Breakthrough. It's great news that it is already a 64-player map instead of the 32 or 16-player map that some people thought that it might be. But Breakthrough is my favourite Battlefield 5 game mode, with it basically being the Battlefield 1 version of Operations. That's why I like Breakthrough so much. It's as close as you can get to the Battlefield 1 Breakthrough experience. So if Libya does support Breakthrough, then that would be awesome. Not only for me, because I like Breakthrough, but I think a lot of other people as well, because I know how popular Breakthrough actually is. Another assumption that I think we can make is that with the map previously being this 5v5 competitive map, only supporting infantry, it is likely that Libya will be an infantry focused map overall. The screenshot that we have of the map, the only thing we know about the map so far, shows this sort of outer roadblock area with the encampment walls. So it doesn't really lend itself to showing much support of the heavier vehicles in the game. And so based on this, I am expecting an infantry focused, more frantic close quarters map that might support light vehicles like transport cars for moving between the different capture points. If you look at Provence and Lofoten Islands, of course, those aren't 64 player maps, but the areas on them, they have been designed to support infantry gameplay as a priority. You're not seeing big tanks on those maps. That's why I'm thinking Libya will sort of be in the same vein. 
If you're trying to imagine what Libya could really be like, I'd say the closest map at the moment in my head to what I'm thinking is probably the Marita map, which does support a couple of armoured cars for either team, and then the infamous tractor as well, if you know where to find it. That's what I'm sort of visualising in my head when I think of this Libya map at the moment. And considering I spend 90% of my time in Battlefield games playing as an infantry soldier anyway, well, that'd be a great map to add as a send-off for Battlefield 5. Now, diving even further into the realms of speculation here, there are a few people on Reddit discussing whether this map will play host to another UK versus Germany battle, following in the footsteps of Alcen Dan, Hamada and Aerodrome, or if it will depict something else. When you look at the historical timeline here and the North African theatre of war, and then looking at the major players in that theatre, setting up another UK versus Germany battle is probably going to be the most likely outcome because of the battles that happened in Libya around that time. But again, this comes from the Reddit thread response, one user points out that there might actually be a chance that this map could depict a US versus Germany battle, and that would be the first Battlefield 5 map that would deliver that kind of setup. The guy in his comments says that with plenty of the US cosmetics for the soldiers in this game, focusing around combat in the Pacific, there's lots of lighter uniform outfits for that warmer tropical climate, and the Sherman tanks having a few different desert themed paint jobs, there's a chance that DICE might make the US the allied forces against the Germans here on Libya. But at the same time, the user kind of points out that at the beginning of Battlefield 5 single player, there was also a map where you played in Libya. It's in that opening 15 minute session where you play as a German tank crew and you're in the final stages of the breakthrough at Tobruk. With I think the point being made here that perhaps with this already being depicted in the single player, you've got this UK versus Germany battle going on that the multiplayer map being set in Libya would also be a UK versus Germany battle. So there's kind of hints that this could go either way, I guess. You could have US versus Germany in a battle set in 1942, early 1943, around the border with Tunisia, which is right next to Libya, but the map being set in Libya, so you'd kind of bend the historical accuracy a little bit, but you would be delivering a US versus Germany battle, which I think a lot of players would appreciate and were hoping for in the later stages of Battlefield 5's development. So it would kind of be like a piece of consolation content for the players that are still playing Battlefield 5. Or you've got a UK versus Germany battle, which would be more grounded in history. It would be more accurate to the conflicts that would actually have happened in Libya around that time. Personally, I, I really couldn't care less at this point. If it's a UK versus Germany map or a US versus Germany map, it doesn't really matter to me. But a US versus Germany map, I guess, would be more popular amongst the community, even if it does bend what happened in history, because Battlefield 5 was set to deliver that content later on during its live service, but the game's now been cancelled, so that's never going to happen. So if you can have US versus Germany on your last map delivered for Battlefield 5, that might go down well with the community. And DICE might as well finish what they started, uh, an inaccurate and unauthentic portrayal of World War II. And then to move on to something completely different, I wanted to get this into this video because I think it could be a sprinkling of even more good news to add on to the top of what will be the last update for Battlefield 5 a team balancer. One of the mods for the Battlefield 5 Reddit page, Manimal Prime, he tweeted recently that in order for Battlefield 5 to survive the rest of the year on PC at the very least, DICE needs to add a team balancer to the game. With less people playing now and therefore less servers active, it's important that a game like Battlefield 5, with 64 players in every server of varying skill levels, has a team balancing function to keep servers balanced and enjoyable for everyone that's playing on those servers. If truth be told, that feature should have been active at the launch of the game, all the way back in 2018, and its absence through 2019 and into 2020 has become more and more pronounced as DICE struggled to keep their servers balanced. But in response to this tweet, Jeff Braddock, community manager, he tweeted, working on it. 
which can only be seen as good news in my opinion. Since we're past update 6.6 .6 now and the final update is coming next month, there's only one place that DICE could transform that, working on it into actually delivering a team balancer, and that is the June update. I really do hope that we will see DICE finally try and get some order back into the server imbalance that has been a constant problem for Battlefield 5 pretty much since the beginning of 2019. That's when player populations really started to slide down because of all the issues that Battlefield 5 was facing. During Chapter 4, I noticed specifically there were lots of server imbalance problems, and that's because a lot of people might have got to the end of their tether by that point. Chapter 4 was absolutely terrible for bugs. Then the Pacific launched, and the issue kind of rectified itself, or it was way less pronounced because there were more players, and that hides the balance issues by having this sort of richer and more skill diverse player base. So the fact of finding 15 really, really good people all on the same team just wasn't as likely to happen because there are more servers to spread those people out. But then the cracks started showing again in early 2020 when players started to drop off. So if DICE can finally implement something that helps these imbalance issues as the game moves on from being actively developed, then that would be great for the many players who will stay behind and will keep playing Battlefield 5 until the next Battlefield game comes out. So that's some more information about Battlefield 5's June update and some speculation and ideas on the side as well. As I said earlier, make sure you click that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with all Battlefield franchise news and information, whether that's on Battlefield 5 or Battlefield 6 moving through 2020 and into 2021. I know it sounds like a long way away 2021, but we're almost halfway through 2020 already. You see how fast time actually moves. Thanks very much for watching today. Leave me a rating and a comment. It is always appreciated. And I'll catch you all in the next one.